Fred Film Radio, I'm Matt Makucci from the 2021 Rome Film Fest, and I'm very pleased, I'm so pleased to be joined by one of the most distinctive and strong voices in American filmmaking today, Sean Baker. How are you? Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, good. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Presenting Red Rocket uh, here at the festival. I just watched it this morning. I thought it was awesome. There's so much that I want to ask you, but mm. I, I guess the first question that I wanted to ask you is related to the term um, suitcase pimp. <laughs> mm, mm. Is that a real term? And uh, it is. What, what, is, what is it that attracts you to this type of uh, person? Well, I, yeah, I didn't know about this term until I was, you know, doing research in this world and realizing that it's a term applied to, to these men, male talent in the industry that lives off of female talent in the industry. And uh, what drew me, well, drew me in, I would say it was really getting to know these men, hanging out with them, um, on the surface level, they are charming and appealing and funny and entertaining. So I was actually enjoying my time with them, <laughs> laughing, etc. Going home at the end of the night and letting everything they said sink in and thinking, why was I laughing at that? Huh, okay. And being very torn about my, just, just, just my, uh, what I felt about these men overall. And so I wanted to actually tackle a character study that would put the audience in the same mindset and have the audience just as torn. You know, do I root for Mikey or do I want Mikey to go down in, you know, uh, in flames? Um, and so hopefully that's what I did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I absolutely, that's, that's exactly how I felt while yeah. I was watching the film. Mm. A couple of things too. I mean, just the, the setting of the film too, I thought was was just uh, amazing. It's, um, it's almost like you're stepping into a, 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 a timeless place, you know, mm. where mm. time just moves differently. It's also profoundly American. D is, it, uh, is that also important, the American part of the film here? Well, yeah, I, obviously, you know, the oil and gas industry, uh, very important to the U.S. economy, but also extremely controversial, especially globally right now, you know, with the fossil fuel debate. So, you know, I, I wanted to, I want, but I also wanted to show that this is how people are living. This is, these are our livelihoods. And so not to take that lightly. So again, there was that balance of, you know, of, of different sensibilities. And um, also I have to say just as a director, visually, the, the refin refinery row is amazing to have like the, the twisted pipes of rust and metal and st you know steam and flames quite visual so it helped me in many ways uh have the location become a character yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well it definitely did feel like it was uh, important yeah. and just in, in terms of that too i, I also uh, kept thinking of the, the concept of the american dream mm. it almost feels like the protagonist of this film still embodies that and do you feel like that's still a thing you know the romanticized idea of the american yeah, I dream i think at one time the american dream was simply about being happy raising a family and <laughs> And hoping that your kids did, you know, had a had a nice life. Yeah. I think that was just just surviving was the American dream at some point. And now the American dream has been distorted and contorted into just a pursuit of like fame and money and and uh, and power. And I think that that's I'm 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 kind of I guess, I guess I'm tackling that, but I'm also tackling sort of like the unfulfilled American dream or the failed American dream, uh, at least in the way that M Mikey has to, he gave up on that dream and he returns to a place he never thought he would have to return to and has to deal with that and cope with that new, uh, that new, e new uh, existence. It's interesting to consider that also in terms of pornography and the role that it has played, I guess, to some extent, mm -hmm. in a version of the American dream. Now the pornography industry is also radically changing. Radically right? changing, yeah. It's, it, that's what, part of the reason why the film takes place in 2016, because there have been so many changes since yeah. then. I mean, with the, pla with, with the rise of platforms like OnlyFans, in which... In which uh, uh, sex workers, sex performers can actually just... Uh, manage their own careers and and so so it ha it has definitely changed yeah. and it will continue to i guess yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. i i wanted to uh, i this is the last question because mm. i don't want to make anybody angry mm. i could talk with you forever but uh 
Uh, Simon Rex, yeah. uh, what a fantastic performance. Yes. I, I don't think I've ever seen him better in, in a film. So oh, that's nice to hear. Well, uh, he, you know, he's amazing. I have had my eyes on him for like three decades because we're <laughs> essentially the same age. So I've watched his peaks and valleys and his way of always tackling the next, like he, he, he tackled, well, he was a VJ back in the day. Then he was a comedic actor, a comedian, a, a rap, a rapper, and then he did great on social media. He always continued to entertain me. And I always thought, why hasn't he been given like a real meaty character? Like I would, and so when Red Rocket rolled around, I'm like, I guess I'm the one who's gonna do it. Sure. <laughs> and I'm so happy. I mean, he, he was so wonderful to work with. He's so talented, so motivated, doesn't have that Hollywood diva thing at all. Like he, he came in and was, and just was, um, and was ready for our crazy guerrilla filmmaking. I mean, we, you know, it wasn't nice. It wasn't great for him. He didn't have a trailer. He didn't have, we, heard, we were eating pizza every day. I mean, what, I mean, not, not Italian pizza, like yeah. shitty, <laughs> shitty Midwest Any pizza. Any donuts in the uh, craft table? <laughs> well, oh, we, we, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we said, we're all like, let's, let's guys, let's not eat any donuts. Let's be responsible. <laughs> By the end of the last day we were shooting a donut hole, we were all eating donuts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was, yeah. Well, Eddie, we got to go, but it's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much cool. for joining us. You're great. Thank you very um, much, man. Thanks a lot. This is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider. <laughs>